Shabam. Hello? Shabam. Hoodoo boo hoodoo boo hoodoo. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Brittany Posey, and today I'm gonna be creating my date night look. Yes, tonight is my date night, and I'm gonna be creating it using all the products I get out of my August Ipsy Glam Bag. There are some really great, super cute stuff in here. I can't wait to show you guys. So if you wanna see how we got this using this, you know what to do. Isn't it cute? It's like this little adorable like drawstring bag and it's pink. Ah, uh, this is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I know they have the Glip Ipsy Glam Bag Premium. I do still get the little Ipsy bags, but that one hasn't arrived yet. I think it should be arriving soon. But I wanted to do a makeup video for the longest time on just stuff I received in my Ipsy glam bag. I also have a BoxyCharm account, so I wanna do one like that also. All right, let's kick this off with some skincare. Skincare. I'm gonna start with the Tula Glow and Get It. Oh, I was right, the Tula Glow and Get It Eye Balm. It has a little bit of an illuminance to it, so it's gonna make your eyes look brighter. It's also cooling. So, there's that. Then I'm gonna take the Arbon RE9 Advanced Corrective Eye Cream. This is another one of my staples. If you have dark eye circles, this is the one thing I have ever noticed actually helps my dark eye circles. No joke, literally. It's like this and the rhodanin fields are the only thing all right, so the first thing we're gonna be using out of our Ipsy bag is the Murad Moisturizer. This is the Perfecting Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA++++. Whew, that's a lot. Dermatologist developed. Wow, this is fancy. Apparently it's a part of a set because it says step three at the top. So I have actually never used this moisturizer before, so we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Feels pretty good. A little greasy, not bad. Um, it has sunscreen in it. Uh, so it has that little bit of sunscreen smell to it. Not overpowering, but just a tiny bit. It is quite greasy. Definitely reminds me a lot of how sunscreen looks when you put it on. Like not really the opaqueness, it's more that really shine kind of afterwards where it kind of makes you question like, is this really gonna protect my skin? So um, I don't really mind greasy moisturizers. I know some people with really oily skin might mind. So if you have really oil, oily skin, I wouldn't recommend this for you. If you have drier skin, I would. But so far, so good. Not bad, a little shiny. We are going to start with the eyes. And of course, like always, we're using Tarte Shape Tape to prime our eyes. This is concealer. If you've never heard of Tarte Shape Tape before, this is a very full coverage. It's the double duty beauty concealer. If you have dark circles, this is the bomb. And if you're like me and you like using concealer to set your eyelids, get ready for some eyeshadow. This is your girl right here. I really should expand and try different ones, but for right now, I'm just gonna feed my addiction it's fine all right and for eyes we're gonna pull out of our ipsy bag this beautiful palette this is the venice fling bailey sarian estate i'm sorry if i'm saying your last name incorrectly it looks a little bit something like this beautiful packaging definitely reminds me of tropical beautiful colors it looks like we have some nice crease colors here. We have some good shimmers. We have some good creases. We got some nice pops. Wow, very impressed. So I don't really have anything in this particular palette that I can set my lid with. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my lid with um, the Morphe setting powder in the shade Translucent. Sometimes I don't even bother setting my lid, but I don't know how these colors are going to perform. All right, I'm gonna take the Morphe M504 brush. And I'm gonna start off with tan lines. Just one more night, then make up your mind, mind, mind. All 
right, now we're gonna take the Morphe 514 brush and then we're gonna go into Bonfire. I know we can make it. Try, try, try. I wasn't originally planning on covering up that first crease color, but since it was such a light crease color, don't be afraid to cover it up. I'm honestly going right over it. All right, next I'm gonna take the Morphe 507 brush and we're gonna go into Toasty, this color right here. And you're gonna keep it right in the crease. You're not good enough. I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough. Give me a chance. I'm just gonna go back into this Morphe 514 brush. We're gonna take a tiny bit of Toasty. We're just gonna keep it right in these corners. Kind of just blow it out a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna take this flat shader. This is the, I got this, it came in the Morphe, I got this kit. We're gonna go into Ocean Avenue. back in with the Morphe 507 brush. We're gonna go into Toasty, that same darker color, and we're just going to layer it just out here. Kind of darken up that outer corner. Wrong, but I learned my lesson. Now what if we could move on? This is so cute. I will definitely be doing another look involving this palette again. This is so cute. I want to try so many different things. So now we're going to stop right here with eyes. We're going to move on to eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Brow Kit in the shade Ash Brown. Sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough cause you're the best, you know I'm sorry. Next we're going to go in with the Stila Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. This is my hands down favorite. I don't know why I don't use it more often, but we're gonna use it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a little bit of a subtle wing, nothing too, too crazy, just a little something, something. It's good, bye, bye, bye. You... I'm not usually a huge fan of a big wing, but, and I had no intention of going this big, but she cute, she cute. All right, now we're gonna use concealer. We're gonna go under our eyes. I am not gonna be using foundation today. I like a good no foundation look. I'm honestly, as most of you know, not a foundation girl. So we're gonna go with the OG method, but we are going to use the concealer to brighten up our face. Now we're gonna set our face. We're gonna be using the Morphe Translucent Setting Powder. All right, we're gonna warm up our face. We're gonna be using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Give me a really light hand. For blush, you're gonna be using the Pacifica, the Cherry Glow, Cherry Gold Highlighter and Blush Kit. We're gonna be using the blush out of it. Now we're gonna be taking the highlighter out of the same palette. For brow gel, we're gonna be using the Milk Makeup Brow Gel in the shade Grind. I got this in a Boxy Charms box a few weeks ago and I've used it now in a couple videos. I love this stuff. Like, it just fluffs it right up so perfectly. You look like you have massive eyebrows when you're done. Now we're gonna reach back into our Ipsy bag because we've only used two things out of it. So now I'm gonna be using the Real Her I Am Amazing 24 Hour Eyeliner. This is a pencil liner. I am not really a pencil liner, pencil liner type of person, but I am trying to expand on that. So what I am gonna do, so we're gonna go ahead and just pop this right on the right on the waterline, just just in this outer corner to give it a little bit of depth. I'm not really a fan of how crisp that is, so I'm gonna take a smudger brush. 
I'm gonna take the this shader brush. It's the Morphe 152 brush. We're gonna go back into that dark toasty. And I'm gonna pop it just on this lower lash line. All right, I did pull out in our little bag of goodies the Wander Beauty Clear Black Brow Gel. Now, I already used a brow gel. Did not even realize that this was in here. I will say this for next video, I promise, but it's just, it's just a clear brow, brow gel. So if any of you are interested in clear brow gel, I will use this in my next video. I'll make sure to use it. And our last item out of our Ipsy bag is the Hootie, Huda Beauty, Hootie, Hootie, Hootie. It's the Huda Beauty, the Demi Matte Liquid, liquid Lipstick in the shade Shiro. Shiro, but their packaging is so, so cute. We're gonna go ahead and pop this on. Gorgeous. I mean, Huda Beauty really doesn't disappoint ever. Stunning lip color. This almost is kind of tingling. Has a little bit of a tingle to it. Is it a plumper? I like it. Um, almost like a lip plumper tingle. All right, and for lashes, I'm gonna do the Ardell Wispy Lashes, and this is, normally they have a number on them, but they don't have a number. It just says Ardell Wispy Lashes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on really quick, and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna be taking the Smashbox Super Fan, and I'm gonna connect those really quick. Now we're gonna take our Elf Dewey Setting Mist, of course, and we're gonna set our face really quick. All right, I'm gonna hop off and fix this do, and I'll be right back. There you have it, guys. This is my date night look using all of the items I got in my August glam bag. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope if you guys are having date nights that you would think of me, maybe think of this look. But thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are staying safe and staying healthy. Have a good day. Bye. Remember the good days. Wish that we could go